what's what's the what's an appropriate tip an appropriate tip yeah um you know an appropriate tip to me is you know if you're gonna have a couple of beers you know what i mean shoot a couple bucks if you're gonna be that dude ordering every two minutes for the whole table hey let me get six jaeger bombs hey let me get six adioses and you're just repetitive 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 and you're gonna have that big bill um we're gonna we're gonna want some compensation for that you know what i mean i don't like to get in too much into value but let's you know I have a couple of guys on the weekends. I even have a guy on Sunday, a Sunday night regular who spends about at least two to three hundred on Sunday night. Like, doesn't he work in the morning? And um, but every time he compensates me, you know what I mean? A good, I would say, 60 to 80 on that tip, which brings his value up even more. And um, I just keep thinking. How come he doesn't do this on Saturday night? <laughs> Every time he comes in, I'm like, dude. Okay. Let's do something about that bid shift at work, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, man. Oh, maybe he does work Monday through Saturday. Who knows? Yeah. Um, what's a bad strategy for tips? I'll tell you, I'll give you an example for myself. I don't I I as big as I am in mm-hmm. life, people seem to notice me, right? I could be walking down the street, people see me across the street, or people see me. Yeah. You know, they I stand out sometimes with the beard, the height, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, for whatever reason, when I go into a bar, these people can't see me or something because I feel like I'm there forever. Yeah. And I'll see other people just walk up and I'm like, it's because she's pretty. So, you know, I'll say shit like that to myself, you know, and I'm just kind of, or I'll be like, because he's white. <laughs> <laughs> You're but not I'm, too I'm like, far <laughs> away from the truth, bro. It's, it's, so, it's crazy. <laughs> so I'm like, what the, so, so the strategy that I've picked up sometimes now yeah. is if it's somewhere I know I'm going to be at. Like, I'm okay, this is where we're going to drink at. And I don't want to be standing out there, standing there, feeling like a fool. That well, I'm then not wear your crop top, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, what I do is I'll, I'll try to give a heavy tip. Yeah. So I'll be like, I'll be like, uh, and I try to be consistent with like the first three orders I make. I'll be, I'll give like a ten dollar tip sure. or a five dollar tip, yeah. whatever. Just kind of leave that there and hoping that they, I, I'm kind of like, kind of like training them, mm-hmm. like, hey man, I'm, you're gonna get a tip. Like, and that, and that, that's the best way I figured out to do it is just keep tipping instead of like oh i'm gonna tip at the end of the night yeah you know i just i just tip as i go tip every, with every order i order a seven dollar drink i give you the change or, mm-hmm. or or i give you if you give me a five i'll give you the five yeah it's a good rule of thumb to have um you know in in the business you know i'm super appreciative whether it's one dollar or a hundred dollars you know what i mean but th- that is a a good rule of thumb to go that way tip while you're ordering a lot of people who say oh i'll tip at the end Sometimes, sometimes they forget, you know what I mean? Oh, and poor guy. Yeah. I, I try to be appreciative. Like, you know what I tell new bartenders all the time, because nine times out of 10 new bartenders see what you're doing and they're in it right away. They want in this business because of the tips they see, they see the money. And the one thing I try to tell them is, Hey, look, um, do your gig. It's a fun gig, but it's still a gig. Maintain your professional professionalism. The tips will be there. You know what I mean? Don't go looking for them because they'll be there. Don't don't get greedy. I, I try to instill that into all the, the young ones that are coming in to bartending because I'm I'm the older bartender now, which fucking sucks. But I try to, you know, kick some knowledge when I can. And a lot of that is has to be around tips because that's the first thing that they see yeah. is the money that you take home. And I try to let them know, hey, never look for it. You know, work hard. Be cultural. Just, just you know, talk to everybody the same. Be cool with them all. Vibe with them. Understand them tips will be there bro ain't no thing yeah do you um do you have any advice for those people who who are thinking of bartending um well my my advice to them would be like hey man come on in give it a shot bartending it's a fun job but there's still a lot of hard work behind the scenes you got to do the orders customer service is it's a bitch in any industry and in bartending it's probably a little bit more up there you have to have a lot of patience it's a it's a good tester you know what i mean this job um but if you welcome it with open arms you know what i mean and you and if you attack it with the right approach there's no stopping you it's it's a good industry to be in um i've had other jobs regular job type jobs is what you would say nine to five i guess um, and I, I've always found myself 
steering back to the bar life where they're like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to work part time. There's been lots of instances like that, but you can't get away from it when uh, you you know it's there. It's it's such a cool job, a fun job, a welcoming job, as long as you have the discipline for it. So bring it on, new people. <laughs> what, are, what What is the, I guess, what would say is if someone goes, you know, maybe I want to try that. Um, what would be like the minimum requirement for most bars for someone who wants to be a bartender? Um, the minimum requirements. That's a that's a good question. I, I I think you would just have to be someone that's, you know, willing to learn and willing to listen would be the first steps because drinks are the easy part, man. Everything's repetitive. You know, there are a couple of few drinks out there that people will order that are off the wall and you're like, Well, what the fuck is this? club drink from LA that you're fucking ordering, man. I've never heard of that. But most of the time it's, it's a repetitive, easy business to learn just as long as you're willing to listen and take a little bit of orders in the beginning, just to, you know, just to become a, a better bartender. You know what I mean? It's not a bad racket at all. So how many years have you been? Uh, I've been bartending. I am 40. I've been bartending for 11 years. So in those 11 years, have you seen bottles get rebranded? Bottles get rebranded, like you mean? It's the same bottle; they just change the name. Same bottle, just change. so I'll, I'll give you an example. Growing up, mm-hmm. uh, obviously we I couldn't buy alcohol, so we would have people buy us alcohol. Yeah. We stand outside of a liquor store, and some random dude would buy us alcohol, right? We'd give them a forty out of our forties or whatever the situation, uh-huh. some cash. Um, and I remember I had a friend that he would always want to get night train. Yeah. And it was a bottle. Old uh, school stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it had a taste to it. And it was a very, like, it's a taste that when you taste it, you remember that shit, you know? <laughs> um, so I didn't have it for a long time. And I remember um, I had some friends who had came into some money. Mm-hmm. Um, the Native Americans, who they, their casino was doing well. And, yeah. You know, blah, blah, blah. And they had some money. And so they were like, hey, man, we're going to drink tonight. And come on over. So I was like, all right, so I come on over. And they're like, hey, we saw this in a ludicrous video, bro. We we're all drinking it. And I was like, what, what is it? It's called Hypnotic, bro. It's a new drink. It's a shit. <laughs> I was like, all right. And they had a big old bottle. They're telling me it was like $70 or something. It was like, yeah. like expensive at the time. And so I was like, um, I was all right. And they were all pumped up about it. So I take, I take a shot of it. And I'm like, hey, bro, this tastes like, does this taste like nitrate? <laughs> And hypnotic every, that's the blue one right yeah 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 and so everybody starts laughing and so then when they go to take their shot they have in mind what i said mm-hmm. down the line everybody's like this shit is night train bro they fucking just sold us night train and to this day i believe it's the same fucking it's thing still the same thing I, i've never i've never done the research to see if it's like the same I, i've yet to encounter something. it but i in the name of science i'm willing to explore you All know right. what i mean <laughs> 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 for real um because I, I think patron was like a rebranded drink as well you know it was it was a, a, a tequila and then yeah. that, uh, was it something paul michael paul or whatever the the con- hair conditioning guy um he bought it out and rebranded it as like a like a popular mexican drink and stuff but like it's, it wasn't but now people do drink it everywhere but at that no time it was, shit. at that time it was considered like a really low grade like cheap vodka like yeah. i don't know what a cheap vodka these days would be but you know some you know whatever it is uh, but um the Paul Mitchell guy, huh? Yeah, this yeah, is the so, first time I'm hearing that. Yeah, so my, awesome. my understanding is Paul Paul Mitchell bought it and then rebranded it as like a, a fancy quality drink, but it was and really see? just like a chase. It was just to mix. It was it was for. It's not intended to be a drink because typically you can drink it by yourself, but Patron people drink it with with a mix mostly. There's see how see how society is. It fell on deaf ears until a celebrity that you know is into hair products. You know what I mean? Rebrands it. Boom, puts a stamp on it. Now look, and it wasn't crazy and, how the world and works. they're very upfront about the people who talk about like how it was transitioned. Yeah. They're, they're pretty upfront about how it wasn't like it was undersold or it wasn't valued appropriately. Um, they 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 just used marketing and branding to make a cheap drink popular. <laughs> they, they, it's not like it's quality or anything. They, they yeah. didn't they didn't do anything to make it better. They they just. They knew they had a product that they could uh, rebrand and resell for for it's higher prices. It's a good business move, shit. man. I just saw one on on Instagram. I put it on my Instagram, but it yeah. was uh, Payless Shoes opened up a, a store, and instead of calling it Payless, they called it Pay Pay Lee or something. They gave it like an Italian name or a like French <laughs> name, and they put their regular shoes. Yeah. 
in that store and people were people paid 600 and something dollars for those shoes get the fuck out of here and then know. once they paid they told them afterwards like these these shoes aren't worth the way you paid here's your money back these are shoes from payless but they, they it was so weird because they had these people and they looked they had money bro they're dropping 600 yeah. on shoes they and all nothing. looked very nice clean mm-hmm. and shit and they were talking these shoes as like they were like these like quality like like just trying to like the marketing of it you know they were just like oh you could i could tell just by the stitching that this is the quality of this shoe and, and you know blah 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 and then they, they're like all pompous motherfuckers and then they they buy them and yeah. then they, they lay it down to them all their faces are just like flush they, the blood just comes out of the they face. got shoe fished <laughs> oh fuck but it just Love shows it. you like what what marketing and, and branding can do for yeah. for a business you know absolutely or, or, or even a product yep um 